is Yarrow Star coming from Manly with uh, James Shramko, my special guest for today. G'day. We're actually hanging out. Actually, you're my guest today. Well, <laughs> guest on Yarrow TV, so. Yeah. And uh, Yarrow's a guest to Manly. <laughs> yes. We're on his balcony overlooking the wonderful Manly Beach, and uh, you're going to see a quick tour around James's apartment shortly, so you can see his office and where he does what he does. Just for anyone, James, who actually doesn't know who you are and what you do do, I know this is impossible for you, but can you give us a one minute summary of what exactly you do? I have a website called superfastbusiness.com and we help people with internet business coaching, websites and traffic. You practice that. No, I just <laughs> made that up on the <laughs> Really? <spot>. Elevator <laughs> pitch. Yeah. Uh, you've been doing it for a long time too, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's coming up about, uh, I started at the end of 2005, so right. depending when you're watching this, it, for me it's been about eight years. That's as long as I've been blogging, so... Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember so. your stuff when I started, your original interviews. You were more established than I was. I used to listen to it when I had a job and yeah. I was driving to work. I like that. Podcasting reaches a lot of people. So it does. It's, very it's, cool. Cool. it's still uh, my favourite thing is podcasts. Yeah, me yeah. too. I do enjoy it. So, living in Manly right now, uh, is it a bit of an internet business hub? Is there many people doing this or are you a bit of an outlier here? Yeah. I feel like an outlier. There, there are probably half a dozen people within a short distance, and, and people, I don't know what it is about Manly, but they're more than happy to come and visit here <laughs> and to see to see me. Just <laughs> good coffee, good walks, and uh, good food. But uh, I'm also overseas a lot too. I do travel a fair bit, so it doesn't really matter where I am. And I, I definitely don't need a lot of social activity. I don't need to be meeting other people. Right. My business model is predominantly um, remotely operated. So my whole team are in the Philippines. Most of my customers are spread around the world. And I am kind of an autonomous operator. I don't need a lot of external influence. I feel like I've got a few decades worth of content in my head that I could get out. Right, so just a case of getting it out there. So. Yeah, and I do weekly masterminds virtually. So yeah. every week I've got this fresh input of what problems people are having and what sort of things that I can cover. Yeah, so I guess that begs the question that you don't need to be anywhere for your work besides when you travel to go to a conference or something like that. Why live in Manly? Well, I've grown up mostly in Sydney. It's the first place I came to uh, when we came to Sydney when I was a kid. And uh, we lived in a unit somewhere over there and I had fond memories of it. I've traveled to many places in the world and I still think that it, it's right up there as the best place that I'd want to live. Uh, although we do pay a lot of tax in Australia, we have uh, very low crime rates, good living conditions. It's, um, Great beaches. That's fantastic <laughs> beaches. So yeah. Just 19 minutes via fast ferry to the city and they do have a bar on the, the ferry and Wi-Fi. I don't know if you found that yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's a great place to live and it's close to family and schools and stuff. So for the people who are overseas watching this and they sort of thinking uh, how, like for me, one of the biggest questions, living in a country like Australia and in particular Sydney, because Sydney is expensive. Right? It is expensive. I, 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 it's a nice place. No doubt about it. Yeah. So getting an internet business to the point where you can just pay for your rent and a lavish lifestyle of uh, ferries that have bars on them and things like that. <laughs> well, I think the ticket's about 7 to $9. <laughs> okay, so, well yeah. still, you know, <laughs> whatever the case may be. Lavish. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people struggle to get to that level where you don't need a job. Simply yeah. put. Now, do you remember, I know, obviously James has got a podcast, I did an interview with James. You can have a listen to the hour-long talk he did. He used to work for car dealerships and then you sort of transitioned from car dealerships onto full-time internet marketing. So you probably, I don't know, did you ever feel that sense of fear that I need to keep this job? Uh, was it a safety net or not? I couldn't wait to finish my job, but it was also the most frightening thing I've ever done in my life to quit my job. Right. So I was on around 300000 a year. So, but you but, need to live in Sydney. But I'll tell you the thing that really made it real for me was reading a lot of books that just injected this idea that it was so dangerous getting paid from one person and that if that stopped, my whole world would collapse. I had a home mortgage, I had a family to feed, and I was getting paid by one source of income. And I, I got this idea that I need to have multiple people paying me and that I needed to have my own business and get paid first and then pay the tax. 
and that I need to employ people and uh, grow something that works without me to some extent that is uh, independent of my actual trading time for money and so I was able to build that and I think that's the key right and then if I was going to go the next step it's really focusing like obsessively about finding recurring products to sell which is what you do now all 90 percent of my business is recurring nice okay great business model so uh, what we're going to do now is quickly take you through James's house and show you uh, his offices and uh, well, where he's currently in Manly anyway, in his apartment. Uh, you'll, he's got a stand-up desk, so you know, high five for that, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and right. uh, thanks to Yara for <laughs> reminding me that I need to do yeah. that. I was literally after watching your stand-up desk video and been hearing about it from this friend of mine in Switzerland. I'm like, I'm going to the store right now, and that's how I ended up with my stand-up desk that doubles as a whiteboard, which is pretty much my favorite business tool in the world, a whiteboard. All right, All right well, we'll have a look at that right now, and, uh, yeah. and then we'll come back and say goodbye. So James Franco, you're going to show us around your apartment? Yep, we're going to have a look at the uh, office. In fact, the best view is that way. It's not too bad. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually better outside. But uh, I do most of my work here, stand-up desk, with the uh, door. You probably hear that sea breeze there, but it's, it's good. Come straight into the lungs. And uh, have an office next door, which we can go and have a look at as well. You ready? Ready, show us, I'll follow you. There's the tripod we're gonna use, kitchen. Yeah, you'll, the stalkers are definitely gonna come hunting you down now, James. <laughs> so this is the uh, podcasting studio with the Rode Podcaster mic. And uh, I recently got an HD camera. It's just better quality than the one built into the, the Mac. But I do use a Canon 60D like the one you're using for most of my videos. No. Up here we have the three roller system. So I can actually select um, white, black or green and it, uh, the computer's basically filming straight onto a background and I've got natural sunlight coming in here and this window opens up completely uh, for that nice sea view. So Beautiful. it's a good workspace. Can't complain about that view. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick tour through James's house. Thank you, James, for showing us your office. Well, there you so, go. I'm um, just going to wrap up the video. James, uh, where can we find out more about you? Head over to superfastbusiness.com and you'll see my blog there. And it's not quite anywhere near the level that Yarrow is. It's <laughs> the benchmark, but do it hopefully... Do years. Eight years and then you'll be there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you need to Forget do. Forget about everything else you do. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> it's instant. Yeah. Super fast. Um, Yes, thanks James. So thanks, uh, appreciate it. And you guys know where to go. It's yaro.tv, Y-A-R-O. You'll find my newsletter there. You can opt in and also download my free report. So thank you, James, for showing us around. And I'll see you later. See ya.